Hey there, and welcome to a daily dose of automotive stuff. This guy crashed his BMW M3 after leaving a car show. While this is sad to see, you should always remember to drive safely and get to know your car before you push its limits. Some random driver got lost in the Delago circuit in Brazil and blocked the pit lane exit. Sometimes the things you are looking for just show up on their own. This grandpa has a very narrow garage, yet he manages to squeeze his car inside and even leave it through the door. I will never complain about tight parking spots ever again. Nu moet ik nu moet ik deze deur open doen. Ik stap uit en ik ik duw de auto vooruit en dan staat binnen. Zie, nu duw ik de auto vooruit op zijn plaats. De auto staat op zijn plaats. Someone got really lucky. This is a lighting rod shifter. Each lever is responsible for a gear change. The lighting rods never got popular because they were too complicated for an average driver. Remember to feed your car carrots before you go on a long journey. Actually no, don't do it. When you look at a Formula 1 steering wheel, you probably don't know what all these buttons are here for. But Formula 2 driver Kylem Eilert got you covered and explains all the buttons here. So guys, this is my Formula 2 steering wheel. Uh, firstly, we have the throttle rotary. This changes how aggressive electronically my throttle pedal is. Then we go to the clutch. Um, this changes, depending on what I want for the start, more aggressive or less aggressive. Um, helps a lot on that. Then we have the pit limiter, radio button, page plus, which changes displays. The SL button, I don't actually know what it does, but it's there. Then we've got reverse, uh, a fuel button for the mechanics, page down, VSC and the rain light. That's everything for today. All sources are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.